much. Yesterday was a big day for Big Blue Nation as the Mark Pope era officially begins. Kentucky men's basketball introducing its 23rd head coach inside a packed Rupp Arena. Tyler Melito joins me in studio with more on the raucous welcome. While introducing the new face of Kentucky basketball, Athletics Director Mitch Barnhart said it's time for the program to find its way back. Barnhart believes Pope not only knows the way, but knows the dedication it will take and the challenges that will come along the way. Why? Because as captain of the 1996 Cats National Championship team, Pope knows what success looks like. That was on full display yesterday as some of his former teammates and members of the untouchable squad were in the crowd. Pope even breaking out the jersey he wore at the Meadowlands in New York when Kentucky won that sixth national title. Addressing the crowd, Pope noted that he understands the standards of Kentucky and that he was brought here to win banners. He knows there will be criticism along the way, but says he has just the group to tell him what he's doing right and wrong. Because I'm on a group chat with every single one of my 96 championship team teammates and they will destroy me every time something goes wrong. I'm grateful for the players from 96 and through the generations at Kentucky who have actually made this place what it is. I'm grateful to every single one of you. That's a big reason why I'm back here. And more than anything else, what separates from everybody else, we have great coaches, players, administrators, but what makes us different than everybody else is you all. I'm so grateful for you. Talk about bleeding blue, and if you've seen anything from Mark Pope over the weekend, you know he's a guy who likes bringing that energy. No moment encapsulates that best than this. Can we do this, please? One, two, three, C, A, G, S, Cats, Cats, Cats! I love it. Let's go. Thank you, guys. 20,000 strong do that in unison. Nothing better. You know the fan base is bought into what Pope is preaching when before you can even get two sentences out, they were chanting, go big blue in harmony, and Coach Pope is chanting along with them. I think it's interesting because he's a Washington State native, yeah. but the fact that he transferred to play at UK, mm -hmm. uh, it's almost like everybody feels like he's, he's one of us. Right. Like you could have told me that he's from Laurel County, like another con current Kentucky player right. on the roster. <laughs> right. And you, I'd be fully bought in with how much he bleeds blue, but the fact that he's a transplant and he has the same passion, you could tell that Kentucky is in great hands. And coming off the bus with the championship trophy, that was a nice touch too. No, I, I don't know what was cooler, coming off with the trophy or we, you have it right here, him holding up his old jersey. Yeah. It, 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 again, it further encapsulates that he wants to be here. Not saying that Coach Calipari didn't, yep. Mark Pope really wants to be here, and hopefully he's carrying another trophy off the bus next year. Yeah, that's what he said. Winning in March mm -hmm. into April, that's going to be key, and uh, he's well aware of it. So We All will right. see. All right, Tyler, thank you very much.